Go ahead. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another night of insurance lessons in Normorth. Coming to you live from the great Langford's Groceries. Channing, once again, thank you for ringing that bell. Thank you, Norm. I appreciate that. You always do such a professional job. You know, when they go out there begging for money for the red buckets of Salvation Army, they need to have you out there ringing the bell. So thank you again. So appreciate you all coming. And tonight is question and answer in regards to Medicare and health insurance questions. So had ser I had a couple people ask some really good questions. And before I begin, I uh, want to remind everyone that I am with Cornerstone Senior Services and we are based out of South Asheville, Arden area. Uh, tonight, though, we are in the Great Langford's Groceries here in Canton, North Carolina. I was in my uh, podcast or Facebook Lives with uh, Grab Yourself a Cold One. This is the place. So, to uh, remember the purpose of insurance is to avoid financial disaster and or replace something that has been lost, broken, or stolen. So, tonight I had people ask me some questions in regards to Medicare and health insurance. Very good questions, and I'm going to go over those with you and see how, hopefully I can help you answer those questions. First question, does Medicare cover long-term care? And the answer is yes, it does up to 20 days. After that, the next 80 days, you are responsible for a co-payment unless you have a Medicare supplement. The Medicare supplement covers the next 80 days. After that, you need to have some kind of long-term care coverage. Um, why does it not cover all of that? Because they want you to have some, what they call, skin in the game, okay? They feel that if you do not um, help contribute to that, then you might take advantage of the system. So, very good question there. Now. Medicare Advantage plans are a little bit different. Remember, they take over your Medicare and um, they cover the first 20 days just like Medicare and then afterwards you have a copay for the next 80 days. So some Medicare Advantage plans will have a copay for the next 30 and then cover the rest. Some will have up to 160 for the rest of the days, maybe even more. So that answers that question there. Next question, are there special plans for females or for women with for Medicaid and there are special programs for Medicaid so remember Medicaid can cover uh, Medicaid is for people who are lower income uh, below the poverty level or close to it and they help cover your medical bills it's a state program versus uh, Medicare which is a national program so there are Medicaid plans that will cover simple, there are some Medicaid plans that will cover pregnancy, some that will cover family, um, some that will help cover your prescriptions, some that will cover the Part B uh, premium for your Medicare, um, for your Medicare. But um, how do you get approved? Um, you get approved through the Department of Social Services, your local Department of Social Services. I remember that is a state plan. The state decides that, and they do an evaluation every year. You are limited on your assets and limited on your income. Why do you have to blow the poverty line? Because Medicaid is geared towards people who are who are financially unable to afford their health insurance. Now, some people will argue that yes, um, you may be above Medicaid, but you still can't afford um your health insurance and that is that is a big uh problem i feel in regards to health insurance there is a gap that a lot of people fall through so very good question there the next question why do you have to pay a premium for your medicare even though you pay taxes all these years I, to be honest that one i do not know the answer to um, again i will say that they want you to have some kind of skin in the game they want you to have something so that you are, they believe, are not um, taking advantage of the system. They used to have a supplement called the Plan F, and that paid for everything for Medicare, even the deductible, but in 2020, they got rid of that because, again, they wanted to be responsible. They felt people were taking advantage of their plans and going to the doctor for every little sniffle and stuff like that. So, very good question there. Um, but... I agree. I was very surprised when I started selling Medicare that you actually had to pay for your Part B premium. They took that out of your Social Security. But, and I actually had an individual ask a very good question. They're like, well, what if I'm not taking Social Security? Can I still get Medicare? You can, but you have to pay a premium for that. They used to charge you three months at a time. Now they only charge, they can charge you up to, they do one, a monthly payment. 
so, great question there. Okay. Really good question for this one. I like this question a lot. If you have a cancer plan, do you have to worry about being networked with it? So with Medicare Advantage plans, you have to worry about whether the doctor takes it, whether the hospital takes it, that doctor's office, because they're networked. Most um, doctors take Medicare, so you don't have to worry about that. You do have to check to see if they do. But with cancer plans, those are reimbursements straight to you. So you may have to pay up front unless you work with your company and they help pay it or offset the cost or wait. Sometimes you get them to hold the doctor's office to hold off on making the payment until your insurance plan kicks in, but they are not networked. You can get an ins a cancer plan and it'll pay you cash directly. Very good question. Um, what is the average monthly cost of a vision plan? So vision plans really are more preventive care. They uh, do eye exams, you have a small copay for that, they help pay for glasses and stuff. And the vision plan should be anywhere from 10 to $20 a month. You shouldn't pay any more for that. So now there, but your Medicare and your Medicare Advantage and your supplements do cover more of eye surgery, such as glaucoma, any uh, retina detachment, things like that. Vision plans are more for preventive care. Very good question there. And does Medicare cover diabetic testing supplies? So I actually went on Medicare.gov to see what exactly Medicare covers. Let me go over that with you real quick. So, I'm not ignoring you, just looking at these pictures here. Okay. So, for diabetes, for your insulin, your prescriptions such as metformin, your Part D or your Medicare Advantage will cover those. For diabetic screening tests, that's preventive care. Your Part B, your Medicare does cover that. For management, such as test strips, glaucometer, or yeah, glaucometer, uh, test your blood sugar, Medicare Part B will cover that as well. Oh, sorry. For supplies such as syringes, needles, your Part D as your or your Medicare Advantage will cover that is for prescription drug plans. So that is what is covered with Medicare. Excellent, excellent question. So, all right. So thank you all. Thank you all for uh, these questions. Very strong. I appreciate that. So you want to be on my Facebook Live? Let me take a picture of you. You can be on my video. So look at this guy here. He is buying a cold one, not soda. He is happy. Look at that smile on his face. He is so happy getting this here. Easy access, friendliness. You can't beat that. Thank you, sir, for letting me do that. So, all right. So, great questions, great questions. Tomorrow night, we do Medicare supplements. If you have not seen my links, uh, go on WNC Express. They're voting for best... Uh, best insurance agents, best cleaning services, best uh, uh, places to shop. Click on it, go to section index, go to insurance agent, type in my name, submit it. Look for the other categories, see if you want to vote for them as well, because you only allow one one vote. So before I leave, I want to uh, give a shout out to the small businesses here in Western North Carolina, or in my hometown of Bar County, Florida, Miss Sarah Hale at Barks and Bubble. Your dog's getting hairy, hair's getting long, kind of smells bad. Don't uh, try to cut your dog's hair yourself, bathe it. Go see Miss Sarah Hale. She and Mike will take good care of you and your dog. Your dog will not be made fun of. If you are needing to suck up to your spouse, go see Nunzi Romano at Florentine Jewelry off A1A in Salad Beach. She'll make sure that your spouse and you are in good graces with each other. If you are needing help uh, with your online business, go see Steve at Rock Your Business. Up here in Western North Carolina, if you're needing to listen to some good wholesome music and driving through Candler and Canton, please go see Terrell Evans or listen to WPTL. Terrell Evans will make sure that you're listening to good music. Once again, folks, I cannot say enough. You've got Langford's Groceries, nice assortment of chips here. You've got your Coca-Cola's here. You've got your candy, which is a perfect level for the kids. Easy access for them to grab. You've got a variety of candies here. You've got your medicine here. And look, as usual, we've got Channing working hard. Thank you, Channing. Oh, look, and Taylor popped up. He's probably <laughs> grabbing himself a cold one. He's not working tonight, folks. 
but that's okay. He's probably tired from working the rest of the week, so thank you, Taylor. <laughs> Appreciate that. So, but yes, grab yourself a cold one. You got great Pepsi products. You've got Cheerwine. Oh, oh, some of you in this from unless you're from North Carolina, Tennessee, Georgia, you don't know what Cheerwine is. Oh, you are missing something good. All right. If you decide to grab a cold one that's not soda but more alcohol related, and you get busted by the police, one. Be polite to them. Our police, our men and women in blue deserve the respect. Two, call Reinhardt Bail and Bond, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. He will make sure you're sitting home next to your spouse rather than meeting a new roommate. And if you need help with your construction around the house, call Alex Cedric at Yes Construction. Lock in those low, low prices. That lumber is going up, up, up. Remember the great Rob Winkle used to say, be kind, we're all fighting a battle. Quote from Plato. Do something nice, run an errand, for your neighbor, walk their dogs, go grocery shopping for them. Just say, hey, appreciate that. Take care and good night.